What is up guys, it is me Nathan Games, but here and we're back with more My Singing Monsters of the Lost Landscapes. Say hello to Toejammer because he's really excited because today we're doing something that's probably one of the most exciting things we've done in this game so far, and that is check out this one island. It's called the Terra of Organs. If you've heard anything about TLL in the past few years, you probably know about Terra of Organs because it's one of the most iconic islands in the whole game, and it's been one of the most things that I'm excited for ever since I first got this game. So, we're gonna go straight over there. It's gonna be super exciting. Leave a like and subscribe, and let's go on the Terra of of organs so this island is extremely cool you can see right here there's a bunch of organs that's why it's called the terror of organs you can see down here there's a mouth there's like a rib cage thing there's like a brain looking thing right there in the middle there's hands there's a heart in the middle and it has this heart beating animation that's really cool there's another hand right there there's look at these eyeballs they literally have moving eyes there's a purple one an orange one and a green one there's also a little brain thing up here look at it it has hands that thing looks pretty funny bro what is that there's also like these like red blood cell i think they are floating around the island and we can click on them i just found that out for the first time we can click on them and collect them that is going to be interesting to do like can we click on all of them some of them it looks like you can't click on so i'm not sure which ones you can and can oh wait you can click on the ones that are kind of like sparkling a little bit kind of like flashing but Let's go to the market because there's something exciting here. Guess what, guys? We don't instantly have to, like, waste all my food or waste all my diamonds. Because, look, there's finally a use for coins again. We can get this guy, which is... Look at him. You've probably seen this. This is, like, one of the most iconic monsters of this island. One of the most iconic monsters of the entire game, The Lost Landscapes. But, look, it's called a handmend. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. But I'm going to say handmend because that's what it looks like. So, we're going to buy it for 10000 And also, look, there's a lot of grid space in this island. We're going to place him all the way up here on the brain because i don't know he's pretty cool so he deserves to go floating up here now i don't even know what this monster sounds like i don't remember so we're gonna be surprised oh. oh my gosh bro i've heard this before yep that's like that's like the terror of organ song you probably are starting to hear a little bit of that terror of organ song that's so good it's literally like Terra of Organs is one of the coolest fan-made island songs in the entire world, I think. It's so good, actually. It's literally amazing, bro. It is so good. But, oh my gosh, we have the first guy, Handman, on the island. So, what's next? Let's go check the market for more. Looks like there's Theramide. We're going to need to get to get a Theramide to level 10, bro. I don't even know if I have that much food. That is going to be a difficult thing to do. Like, level 10? That is a pretty crazy level to get to, I'm not going to lie. But even if I have to spend all my food, we are doing this today. Let's go to the floating city, and it's going to be worth it because this island is literally the coolest island in the entire game. So let's go to Theramind. Let's go ahead, feed up all my food into this guy. Level 10, we're, we're, we're going, we're going, we're going. Level 10. All right, we got to get this Zeppelin on to the island by clicking on here. And guys, I'm actually excited for this. I know, like... Like, this is, I promise you guys, this is one of the most exciting things in the whole game. Because, like I said, this is, like, the most iconic, the Lost Landscapes things ever. This is the first thing I saw about TLL ever. I think it's the first thing a lot of people saw about TLL ever, years ago, on Rozzybro's channel. So, this is just so weird. It's going to take 12 hours, but you know me, guys. Am I going to wait 12 hours? Nope. We're going to waste diamonds because I'm irresponsible. So, here we go. Let's do this. And here we go, guys. We literally... Are about to get Theramind and Handman, so we're gonna have two monsters on the island at the same time. Look, I kind of know what Theramind sounds this island, I think. So we're gonna hear him. <gasps> Bro, these guys sound so cool. Like, I love like just like the theme of this song. It's kind of like dark, like not really. It's kind of like I don't know how to describe music, but it sounds cool. I guess that's the only word I'll use. It sounds cool. I like it. So let's feed this guy up. And I like I like this guy's sound. He's like playing a piano or something, I guess. But he's like invisible. He's just using his fingers to play the song. And then, you know, Theramind is making his Theramind sounds. He's kind of just singing around. Oh, it sounds so good. Bro, I can't believe Rosiebra made this. Like, this game is so incredible. It's insane. Um, but guys, guess what? Unlike some of these other islands, we have a breeding structure here, which is extremely useful and extremely important. It means we don't have to buy or teleport every single monster on the island, and we can actually breed some. So let's take a look at what kind of monsters we can breed. Oh, look, there's a Smoochel is on this island, bro. Plexi is here? 
Rebro too? Why is the why is the rocks called a weasel rock and a nerve rock? And there's an electrical element. Are those like wobblings they have to zap things into? Bro, what's that whistle guy? Is the only way to get him by doing 150 in diamonds? No. Bro, I want to get the whistle guy. What's his name even? Whis Wimsta Wim Wimstla Wim Wimsel Wimsels Wimslop. I don't know if that's how you say it. I can't read, apparently. But look, guys, there's Octopus, Boscus, Cybulb, Dentures. Dentures fit this island well. He's like teeth, and this whole island is like, 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 body parts and stuff. It's like hard, and like, some teeth will fit right into it. So, we're gonna try to get a Dentures. Which, wait, water and bone? How are we gonna get the water element here? Can we teleport a toe jammer here? Hold on. Wait, can I actually teleport a toe jammer here, too? Or do I need to, like, get it from down here somewhere? Yeah, no. Can we just put a toe jammer here? There's also Kana. There's also Kana. So I'm just going to try to put some single element monsters in here. Let's go to the floating city, I guess. We maybe can get more monsters than I thought, which is going to be awesome because we'll be able to hear more of the song, which is so awesome. But here we go. Tweedle's already level 6. It's already getting up there. So, oh, we're out of food. Guys. What do I do now? We need baby food. The baby food, I've heard, is pretty hard to get. You need to, like, mash up all these flowers or something. Like, you need to go to this crafting machine and start, like, making a flower jam or something. So, let's try to make a flower jam. That's going to take 12 minutes. We're unfortunately just going to speed it up for a diamond, though, because I'm not waiting an hour. Uh, let's go do that. So, now we have that thing. Now, can I put that in the masher or can I feed it straight to a monster? How, does, how exactly does it work? Wait, so I can just put stuff in the masher. So what if I put, like, these berries? Monsters would like to eat berries, right? What If I was a monster, if you were a baby monster, what would you eat? Let me answer that question. I would eat the blue flowers. They look the best out of all of them. I would also eat trees. I like trees. So I would also eat a rock, maybe? Maybe some of this, like, wool or something? Oh, candy. I would put candy on there, guys. Oh, all kinds of candy. And another candy because candy is just so great let's mash this all together seven hours oh my gosh are you kidding me we got 25 food for that bro is that really all we get for all that work all that diamond spent all those resources wasted all the candy like come on if i was a monster i would love candy and these guys seem to not be even like candy at all that's unfortunate, bro, so I guess we're just gonna have to figure that out another day. I don't even know if you can teleport it there, because, like, wait, I know how to check. If we go to the collection, we can see, is Toe Jammer and stuff even here? They're not here. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't waste all my stuff then. Wait, what's, that's Nerve. Then that's, uh, that's the Wubblin people. There's, like, what's, I don't know, the box person's name. I don't know that one's name. What's this one? This one's just a black square? Shellbeat is here? Cybop is here too? Bro, wait, Octopus is here? How do you even get those monsters? Do you have to buy them with diamonds? I just realized you probably just have to buy them with diamonds. Guys, there needs to be a way to get diamonds in this game if they charge diamonds for everything. But we can still breed a monster, okay? It's not over just yet. We can do Handman and Theramind. And what would that get us? That would get us absolutely nothing. Let's try it anyway. I'm going to try to breed it just to see what happens. If it even lets me. So let's go down here. Let's make sure they're both fed up to level 4. I want to make sure they're both eaten up. And they both are. Let's head to the breeding structure and see. So we can breed them together. What are we going to get then? What is that? Is that uh, a Theramind? No, it's a Handman. So let's place him down on the island. And we got another one. That, and he's already pretty cool. So I don't even care that much that we just wasted 4 diamonds. Let's try it again. Do we get the same thing? We do, so it looks like you can't breed those two together. I'm going to need you guys to help me out in the comments. If you guys know more tips about this island or what to do, maybe we can go here and figure something out. Yeah, I'm just not entirely sure about a lot of things in this game. I think there's a wiki. I should probably read that, but what I should read first is we reached a goal, which says feed one monsters, and that's five diamonds, which, you know, I would never complain about. Free diamonds, which is awesome. So... I'm not exactly sure what else to do in that island, but look at this. We have some exciting stuff. We have a young Rudatoot, which is cool because I fed my Rudatoot all the way onto the island, other island last time, so we needed that. 
What else I need is a sponge, because I thought I bred a sponge in my last video, but I actually bred the wrong combination, and you guys all told me, and that was a little embarrassing. But here we go. Sponge is plant, air, and water. Plant, air, water. Plant, air, water. How can I do plant, air, and water? Plant, water, air. So, octopus and tweedle. And we have a tweedle and we have an octopus. So, we are good on that. Let's try it. Tweedle and octopus. Please give it to me, bro. Come on. I think that's an octopus, unfortunately. Wait. No, that's a sponge. Okay. Perfect. And also, just, just to test out a theory I have, we're going to breed another sponge. And we got it. Perfect. I'll get those tomorrow in the morning. I am very excited for those. Um, and we have more stuff to do on Evergreen Marsh, guys. Corral. Do you know what that is? Because you're about to if you don't already. Also, we just got level 18. That is insane, bro. But look at this. Corral. We got Corral. A brand new monster on this island, which you might have never seen before in your whole life. Look at it. It's a tree. It has eyes in it. It's looking weird. It's looking cool. And it's probably going to be sounding cool too. So let's go ahead and figure that theory out. Let's listen to it sing in the song. Come on, Corral. When are you going to sing, bro? Look at Yap. If you watch this far in the video, comment down below. Yap is a cool monster. And everybody else who didn't watch this far will be confused about why you're saying that. Oh, look. There's like frogs in there. Oh my gosh. There's like little frog alien looking things in there. That's weird. They kind of just bounce around to make some like percussion drum sounds for the island. Which it definitely adds to the song. It definitely is a good addition. So I'm happy about that. And what I'm even happy about is now that we have that. We can get even more new monsters. Which one should we get now? I want to get Benno. Bro. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Benno is like an alien thing. What even is that bro? We gotta do air, water, and fairy. Air, water, fairy. Air, water, fairy. Air, fairy, water. So Vero and Toe Jammer is what we need to do. Vero, we have Vero and we have Toe Jammer. Let's breed and hopefully get a first try. Vero, Toe Jammer, and that's a Toe Jammer, unfortunately. But maybe we'll have better luck on Candy Island, where I can also get yet again a new monster but unfortunately last time we tried to get a new monster we failed and we got a regular cana which is very sad however maybe we'll get better luck this time i think what i was trying to get was a sprinklet a sprinklet which is the four element which looks so cool it's literally like a like a monster i mean they're all monsters but it looks like a really cool monster so we're gonna try for that one again we're gonna do keytris and fire cana and we failed again all right, that's unfortunate. Maybe we have something else on Not Sure Island. And that means we do have something on Not Sure Island. I wasn't just saying that. We 100% do. First, we're going to collect all these resources, guys. If you played this game, make sure you're always collecting your resources because they are very important, especially on Not Sure Island. They're extremely important here. Which, by the way, I have so many resources right now. There's so much. So... That's nice. It looks like there's none of those special crystal things, but there is a lot of bones. There's a lot of those, like, white stuff things. And look what we got last video. If you didn't see that, we got the Not Sure Tree. And we got another monster as well, though. Look. We get the Not Sure Tree's friend. Not Sure Tree's friend. The Mount Tuzpig, I think it's called. Oh, look, guys. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Please be cool. Please be cool. Please, come on, start singing. All right, it didn't start singing yet. I'm so nervous. Bro, I'm actually nervous for this. Also, this guy gave me 10 diamonds earlier. He made me 10 whole diamonds, which is nice. Okay, please. Bro, is he gonna sing? Okay, while we wait for it to sing, let's try to get this bay monster and see if we can get it. Please, 10 hours is the right time. We failed it, unfortunately. Okay, please sing. Oh my gosh. It turns blue too. Bro, these might be two of the coolest monsters I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at the animations of the mouth. It has like four mouths up there too. Bro, those guys are so cool actually. Oh my gosh. 
Let's go see if there's anything happening over on the Demented Island. I don't think there is, but you know, I feel like I always gotta check because you never know what could happen over here. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you watched this far and enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you all in the next one where we're probably gonna get next video void corn on this island. So that's gonna be crazy. Anyway, goodbye.